సమస్తంకు నమస్కార్ ఎస్టీమ్డ్ డెవలప్మెంట్ కమిషనర్ అండ్ ఏసీఎస్ మేడం ఐఎమ్ ప్రివిలేజ్ టు బి సిట్టింగ్ నెక్స్ట్ టు హర్ అండ్ ఆల్సో లిటరలీ హ్యావింగ్ హర్ బై అవర్ సైడ్ బికాస్ షీ హ్యాస్ బీన్ ఆల్వేస్ వెరీ ఎన్కరేజింగ్ అండ్ ఇన్స్పైరింగ్ అవర్ ఆర్గనైజర్ శ్రీ జగదానంద్ సార్ అండ్ ఇన్ఫ్లుయెన్సర్ వెన్ ఇన్ అవర్ ఫార్మేటివ్ ఏజ్ when as an administrators in especially development sector mr muniraju my old colleague uh, from delhi times and uh, all the dignitaries who are available here and participating in this it's a honor to be here big compliments to cyst and the entire team for organizing such great event i am uh, thankful for two reasons one calling us and uh, presenting all the details maybe we'll have a very good uh, document which will give some insight sometime back uh, our nowadays we have been hearing about uh, demographic dividend and where do we stand and india is in a sweet spot where we can take off and we are best in the world and i mean all these things are good but let us also understand a global trend a bit so when we say that um, the demography of course which describes our population and advantage i need not go into the um, statistics all of you know that how young we are and how some uh, i mean like if you see the pyramid then the the uh, we we are uh, having a very comfortable uh, middle age that is working group working working uh, population which is quite uh, huge and like for um, one age person there will be maybe four working people who will be supporting them so we are in that um, uh, good phase but whether demography and development are interrelated let us ask this question i mean many academicians or academia is also here it, it's very inconclusive if you are only focusing that okay demography is going to give us a development and with that we are going to address all our problems it is not true we need to focus on some of the issues which are very very critical as it was told here whether it is climate change whether it is of the income disparity whether it is only the fertility issue or reducing the mortality issue of course there is i mean after a lot of discussions and deliberations now there is a consensus that development is important focus on growth for whatever is required for the growth please do that and growth is not only the economic growth again it's a multi dimensional it's a process where various other aspects have to be brought in whether it is a just a commodity output or gdp no we have realized long back that it is not so thing so at the end of the day the consensus is that focus on development development is the best contraceptive development is the best way to take the people in a better living way a living condition provide the living conditions or development is a good way where we can bring the dignity give them the uh, institutional support and also give them the choices all these things happen with the development so we have to focus on what we need to do there are many aspect i'll not get into it so again this development how we have to do the development again it comes whether the it is going to be dividend or disaster it happens how we are utilizing this uh, uh, young youth population we, who are uh, expecting us to uh, do the better in our development as given to me so if you seen the uh, odisha context that too when we are thinking of uh, 2036 where odisha is going to complete 100 years which it's a centenary centenary it's it's a huge responsibility for us if you see if you want me to see in the perspective and give a perspective for it um, we have uh, even in the record of yours i was just going through having a glance maybe in next 5 years we have to skill around 6 million youth that is what we are looking at even to retain the existing employment rate that is what the number is so it is a huge task how odisha government is going to do 
And as all of you know that there is a lo lot of emphasis on the skilling. If you see the one of the most um, uh, dominant or the uh, stellar building in uh, in the in the in Bhuneshwar is something which is a world skill center, which 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 shows that. I mean, I think it symbolizes what how much Odisha feels about the skilling. I mean, the entire building was repurposed and it was earmarked for the skilling. So that is where the focus has been there. We have a strategy. I'll just very briefly discuss. If you see the socio-economic pyramid, the bottom of the pyramid who are there, they require skilling, they can't wait for very long period. Who are they? What we call NEET, not NEET examination of your uh, medical, not in education, employment or training. So these are the people whom we have to provide very short-term training program, otherwise they are going to the workforce and it is said that, the, some of the reports say that, 77% of the employers say that we don't have a skilled manpower. And we, whatever who we have, around 77% are not suitable for the job role which they have to be there. Whereas from the youth lot, if you do, even not only at Odisha level, even Odisha is much higher, but even in the national level, only 3.5 or 4% is the maximum uh, youth who get the skilling, actually skilling for the, their job. So there is a huge gap. So at this bottom of level, we see that short-term training programs have to be taken up. A lot of training programs, whether it is related to our industries, where the mining uh, jobs, drivers, conductors, or any any of that, low, I mean, apparel, apparel business, a lot of girls who are coming out of the school are, who are not in school, they're in the school. So it doesn't require too much of education or technical education for them to get there. So very quickly, we can complete that short-term training program and put them in the workforce with proper skilling. Somebody was my thinking of a migration. So it has to be like, it cannot be exploitative migration or distressed migration. It has to be aspirational migration, whether we can bring them to have the aspirational migration. There will be around 20 lakhs children or students coming out every year. So this is where we focus and we'll try to address. And this, whatever three lakhs figure, we, we need to achieve very soon in next three to five years, that is what we are looking, so that whatever are the students coming in, in the workforce, they will be trained, and of course we have something backlog which need to be addressed. Um, so I will not be saying further, but a uh, lot of um, success stories are Odisha's journey, it's always uh, fascinating to hear from uh, Development Commissioner. Uh, so I thank everyone uh, for uh, giving me this opportunity and uh, uh, hearing us patiently. I wanted to do that. So industries have to, I mean, like they can't uh, soft pedal only on something nutritional and uh, food and uh, we do something here and there. They have a core responsibility of providing the employment to the local youth. So this need to be addressed and the, it is not that it is, I mean, our students are not or our youth are not talented. If you have any issues, I mean, that's why the, we are working as an intermediary in between. And the new Nua Odisha scheme which has come up, it is with all the agility. I mean, like, you can think of having the training within your organization. You can train them within the organization and recruit them, train them, and absorb them. So this is where uh, we would like to seek the cooperation from the platform here because they have been working. They, in fact, they are the intermediary between this society, industry, and the government. So I, I request that uh, earlier uh, request of mine, having the apprenticeship, on-job training, and these are very, very important things which will bring that confidence among the youth. Okay, why we want to send them out when there is a job inside? I mean, that is first priority, of course. I mean, as I said, that it is aspirational. After beyond that, if they want to go, they can go. No, no problem about it. But the opportunities within the state has to be completely utilized, and that can be utilized with little bit of innovative way of dealing with the local uh, population or community, and it is possible. Thanks once again.